Good morning guys, welcome back to another day in the life of a primary school teacher. I'm so tired this morning, we were off for two weeks of Easter and this is our first full week back and today is Friday. But it's a bank holiday this weekend so we're off Monday and Tuesday which is great news, three day week, next week is just going to be the best. But I'm just having some porridge for breakfast. I go through phases of having overnight oats and then porridge or a wee bit. They're like my three go-to breakfasts. I like to be there at eight so that I can set up the classroom and just be organized because the kids start coming in at like 20 to nine. So it gives me 40 minutes. It seems like a long time, but it's actually not because I want to set up their ash there. They're like playtime and stuff. My age is like four, five, six. So once they come in, they just want to talk to me. I don't really have time to just be correcting or anything because they keep me very busy. That's the plan. I'm going to eat my breakfast and go to school. So I'll catch you in a bit. Before I go, I'm just going to show you my outfit of the day. If anybody wants teacher outfits or don't know what to wear. I just wear these work pants. I got these from Zara. I got my shoes from Penny's. They're just like little loafer things. And I actually got this top in Penny's just for like the warmer weather. It's easy. I can't really wear dresses because I'm in the infant class and it's just, I'm too busy. I'm running around all day, so I feel like a dress probably wouldn't be as comfortable. Welcome to my classroom. This is where I've taught for the last four years. It's so hard to vlog in school because vlogging in Ireland isn't really a thing. And if anyone sees me talking to a camera, it's going to be... A weird one but I wanted to show you what, some things I picked up for playtime so I got them some new play-doh then this little pram and doll because I didn't have one and it's good for role play and then we're actually doing the hairdressers this week so I got them a little hairdressing kit and then a new play mat for small world I'm gonna put that out now and set it up so this is actually the old one it has like no buildings or anything on it and then the new one kind of has everything like you can see a school, hospital, supermarket, petrol station, cinema. So it's just gonna be like more realistic and like useful for them. I'm gonna keep setting up the class because I'm late this morning and they're gonna be here like any minute. So this is their little hairdressing setup, their reception area, two seats and the cloaks, and then a little table with all the stuff in it. My kids are actually all gone home. It's Friday, so I tend to not stay too late on a Friday just because I mean it's Friday who wants to stay late in school but I actually did their mist test this week the mist is a mid infant screening test it's just for my seniors so the juniors went with a different teacher for the day it basically just tests for their listening skills their writing skills their letters like their phonics it's just kind of to see how they're progressing. If any of them might need extra help or learning support or something like that might bring them on. That's what I was doing this week and I haven't corrected them yet. But maybe I'll take them home and correct them over the weekend. I don't mind correcting them. Like it's actually nice to see how they did. So I might do that over the weekend because I'm off Tuesday. So I don't mind. I might do it on Tuesday before I come back. So I give their homework out on a Monday and then they keep it for the week at home and then they bring it back in on a Friday. So on a Friday, I correct it and test them on their words. For anyone who has infant classes, this is just something that I do. I'm sure loads of teachers do it, but I actually make a little copy and it has like all their CVC words basically, where they have to blend them out and then I test them on the Friday. It's a way for me to know that they're learning them and that they understand how to blend and it just brings on the reading skills really. And also another thing that I'm currently trying to catch up on is their scrapbooks. Inside their scrapbooks, we just put in like loads of their different SESE worksheets or art worksheets or like writing worksheets, history. We do loads of little things. And then at the end of the year, they just have like a collection of all of their work all in a little scrapbook and I think it's just a really nice idea. I feel like if I was a parent I would love one of those memory box of like when they were that age. That is my day or my week complete. My jellies are running low so um, Miss Rooney needs to stack up on her jelly treats or they would not be impressed if they did not get a jelly going home on a Friday. If any of you guys have any like teaching questions, I mean I'm not an expert 
I mean, with teaching, you kind of just learn every day. You learn something else of what could be useful or what could be helpful. But if anybody has any questions, I could try and help. I could try and answer them or else like we could all help each other. Today was such a good day. Today was actually a really good, like nice day. They were just so well behaved. I love praising them when they're just like working extra hard and they were so proud of themselves going home. It was a lovely day. The sun was out. Fridays are a good day. Fridays are busy for me though, correcting homework, but I do love a Friday. <laughs> know it's coming to the end of the year when you start to finish up in their copies they have just finished their sound copy which is such a good feeling because it feels like the end is near and also that they've completed something i don't think i'm gonna plan wednesday just yet i might come in early wednesday morning and plan the day then so how sweet are these flowers that one of the oh well I have twins in my class. They brought these flowers in from their garden. Love that. Little treats on a Friday. I'm just about to head home now, but I thought I would just show you guys this little, these posters that I made. If any of you guys are starting teaching, you're on teaching placement or you're starting school soon or you're in a new school or you just wanna like, have nice displays in your classroom. If you use Canva, it's free online. You can like just play around with it and make little posters or stuff. I'll show you some of the ones that I made. So like I made like little quote and then this one so they would be able to practice their numbers. And then I have all of their letters, lowercase as the main one because juniors learn those too. And then the capitals are in the little bubble at There are little um, hairdressing art for the week. So they did crazy hair. This one kind of looks like a clown. And this one, cute with the little design on the top. Yeah, I'm going to head home now because I want to see my puppies. So I'll catch you guys when I'm at home. I hope you enjoyed my school day. And now it's time to chill. was that clip of the dogs. This is Bailey. Bailey's the youngest girl, aren't you, Bailey? Yeah, we turns three in August, and I mean, they're the complete opposites. Bailey is needy and cuddly, and Bui is sassy and independent, and she doesn't need a mom, do you? But I'm still her mom, forever. For anyone wondering, they're capoos, they're both capoos. So I will change and I'm going to have a little snack. So I'll show you what I'm having when I change. This is my teaching, or not my teaching, this is my after school outfit. So I'm wearing my new Lululemons and just this plain white top. I'm wearing my Rudolph slippers. Look at cute baby. <laughs> But yeah, can you tell how happy my dogs make me? And also when it's sunny outside, I mean, my mood is like 100 when it's sunny outside. What I'm gonna have for lunch, you guys are in the fridge because I have nowhere else to balance you right now. What I'm having for lunch is this raspberry protein yogurt. I love raspberry flavor with some High protein granola. I weigh it out so that I'm not like having five portions when I'm only meant to be having one. And then I'm gonna have some raspberries. And that's my little fruity light lunch. I'm gonna have an iced coffee as well. I think I've become a little bit of a like coffee addict. I don't
Iced coffee. And I have my little, whatever you call it, granola bowl. Me and Kev are making pizzas, and homemade pizzas and chips tonight. So stay tuned for that because even I'm excited for that. We have our homemade chips on and we're gonna make our homemade pizza. That uh, loud noise is the air fryer cooking our chips. So we're using these wholemeal wraps. I'm just gonna do tomato sauce pepperoni and um, a little bit of light cheese. Our homemade chip. Homemade, homemade pizza. 